My name is Delita Martin. I am a printmaker. Uh, my works are mixed media printmaking. Um, I um, incorporate the majority of my work, if not all of my work, has a printmaking base, but I bring in other elements into my work, such as painting, uh, drawing, and hand stitching as well. This retrospective is extremely important to me. Um, first of all, because I'm alive and I'm able to celebrate with friends and family, so that's really exciting. Um, but even more than that, being able to um, look at, to stand in a room and really look at my life for all intents and purposes is pretty incredible. And to share that in my home state is just absolutely, you know, it just humbles me when I think about being able to do that. So the, my work at its very core is about identity and how we identify ourselves. And there are different types of identity. There's spiritual identity, which is what I work with. There's physical identity. There's emotional identity. All of these things people can um, use to, you know, become to get a chance to know you, an opportunity to know you. So I look at them as forms of identity. So within my work, I deal with spiritual identity. How do we as women, as black women, become our spiritual other? And what does that look like? So it's my responsibility as the artist to make the invisible visible and the unseen seen, and the intangible tangible. And so what does that look like? So when I was thinking about the spiritual space and how we exist in that space, like how do I describe that space? And for me, it became color, it became texture, it became pattern. Those things mimic life to me. So if you look into my work, there are areas when patterns and colors, they fight each other. But there are other areas where they marry together really beautifully, but that's life. And so that made sense to me. So when you see the patterns and the textures and the colors going inside of the body, that represents how we marry into those spaces. So if you think about when you walk into a space and you get a funny feeling, maybe you're overjoyed, maybe you have sadness, all of these things you're feeling, that's that fingerprint that's been left in that space. That's that spiritual energy that's in that space and you're reacting to it. So in my mind, how, what does that look like? And so that's um, really how I, I look at my work. So the immersive portion of the retrospective, um, I was speaking with the curator and um, you know, initially we talked about you know, the 2D work, the space with the retrospective, the works that will be on loan, but um, when she asked me about activating an additional space, I was really excited. Um, I think I didn't, I know for a fact that I didn't tell her because I wanted to meet the challenge, but this is the first time I've ever done anything um, on this scale and as really interactive. So I've done maybe a smaller um, you know, uh, installation, but it was nothing compared to what you'll see at this um, exhibition, Follow the Waters. So I was really nervous. I don't think I slept the night before coming in to actually start because I wasn't really sure how this was going to go. But um, I think, you know, the way I work is very intuitive. So there was little planning in terms of coming into the space. And I think prior to getting here, the what I had planned changed at least 10 times. <laughs> So um, to come here and see the Veilscape come to life uh, in the way, even beyond the way I envisioned it is pretty incredible. I think that when viewers come in to see the retrospective as well as to see the installation portion of the exhibition, they will definitely be able to see the connection and the growth. I, when I look at my work, I think of it as a continuous conversation. So this is just the conversation that started when I was five years old. And the day I decided to be an artist, you know, the conversation continued to grow at that time. But if you look back through the history of my work, you're gonna see patterns, you're gonna see textures, you're gonna see women, you're gonna see all of the things that you see today, um, you know, kind of peeking its head through a little bit at a time. You know, I, I always welcome the conversation about what printmaking really is. And, um, you know, I feel like it's, as any, any artist who, in any medium that you're in, I feel like you have 
not just the, the opportunity, but you have the responsibility to define what that means to you. And so as an artist, um, you know, I identify as a printmaker, so I always welcome the conversation is, you know, what really is a print? What constitutes a print? And are you really a printmaker? I welcome those conversations because, you know, again, it's up to me to define the medium and define myself. I think I would tell students when it comes to um, doing their work, it's about challenge th challenging yourself, you know? And that's how you grow, is by challenging yourself to do bigger, better things. And you know, and, and change doesn't always mean large scale, it just means, you know, introducing new things into your work and, um, you know, not having a fear in doing that. So I encourage students to do that as much as possible. It is important to learn the rules, but learn the rules so you can break them. <laughs>